Hello Claire. I'm a great fan of your brilliant weekly analysis of the inanities some deem appropriate to excrete into the public forum. And since you're lured that a more ferocious denotation might be in order, I would like to provide you with my considerations. Careful reflection has convinced me to apply my native dialect to this matter. So for your evening's delectation, a bislavina shume for Americans. Someone who is nuts or slightly insane. And if you're not quite sure, Bistongshit, are you insane? Might resolve your predicament. If the source of your agony, however, is a lady, Blonzen, dumb woman, might be appropriate, and for the crown of creation, with beautiful simplicity, Dodl, simple minded guy, suits perfectly. Don't talk shit might stop and Fetzenschädel, a foggy brain person writing his tracks. Particular lingual attention, however, requires a Kvast, a malignant person. On the other hand, Kschaftl Hurwa, busybody or check of all trades, master of none, applies well to someone suffering from the Dunning-Kruger effect. Being a Geistig Snorkerbarzl, mentally naked, or intellectually just not up to it, your opponent might become a Waschwarzen, a pain in the ass. Which coincides well with Vojkhofer, plainly idiot, or more colorful, Wach in der squashy in the head. And unlike the English language, which tragically lacks a swear word with the letter Z, Wienerisch shines brightly. Zwiederwurzen dislikable or unfriendly person matches almost every cretin on the planet. I hope you enjoyed this interlingual exposé on what I consider the pinnacle of any language with a curse word. So I bid you habe die Ehre. Farewell. <laughs>